June and we are ready for football. Welcome to the fourth annual BYU Football Media Day live from the BYU Broadcasting Building here in Provo, Utah. This is the state of the program and we welcome you inside Studio C. I'm Dave McCann. For the next hour, we'll talk with BYU Athletic Director Tom Homo, Head Football Coach Bronco Mendenhall, Offensive Coordinator Robert Anai, Defensive Coordinator Nick Howell, an ESPN college football analyst and former BYU national champion Trevor Maddich. When we talked about going independence a couple years ago, three years ago now, we talked about the access that we would get for the fans, that we'd be able to go and bring our team to the fans, and we've done that. So if those teams actually do want to play and are scheduling us, it is for a reason, regardless of what the other rules say. Um, and I think that, again, how we're playing, who we're playing, where we're playing them, and in front of national audiences with the success we're having, um, I think that the results will take care of itself. You said some things to a reporter in Texas about BYU and the Big 12. They were strong. We hadn't heard anyone really stand up and say, we want to be in your league. Did that message come out the way you intended it? Yeah, it came out exactly the way I intended it. <laughs> and we are becoming more visible. We are getting more exposure. We are playing better and better teams on bigger, bigger stages. And that would be a way to do even more of that. And so why not? And I thought someone needed to say it. Another story of significance this summer with the allegations of improper benefits. Uh, where is BYU's internal investigation in relation to where the NCA is with theirs and what might happen next. On the speed in which we reported, self-reported, <laughs> held ourselves accountable, got the investigation going as thorough as it is, I've never seen anything like it, which was, it's great to be part of an institution that handles it like that. Okay, this is uh, for Coach and, uh, and Tom. Uh, what would you guys consider a quote-unquote uh, special season and how capable is this team of pulling that off in, uh, in 2014? Always 10 wins or more and double-digit wins are hard to do. We do it as frequently, if not more so, than anybody else, but um, 10 or more is the bottom line for a BYU football program. Question from a viewer on Twitter, Coach Mendenhall, what uniforms are your favorite? Which ones are you most excited about? It's been announced there'll be a number of varieties offered as the Cougars take the field at home this year. I like that question. Um, <laughs> I, uh, when I consider BYU um, from the days back to where my, when my brother played, when Tom played, when Leon White played, um, Royal Blue is, is um, the way that um, I see BYU still. Um, designing our navy blue uniforms, they were patterned after in design of the Royal Blue. And so that was to pay tribute to right. what BYU. So I like the Royal, I love the Navy, but I think it's fun to have black on occasion. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, I like it from the standpoint of it's one more thing for the fans to be excited about, the players to be excited about, um, and just something special for the college players. Where does Jamal go for his junior year? Well, I've already apologized to Harvey because his record's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your receiver group. Well, this is an exciting group that will add to our team's value. Uh, hopefully they get hot and receivers are kind of hot and cold type things, but they're going to be going deep a lot. And uh, I have a feeling that once uh, uh, the thing gets going, uh, go fast, go hard, and then they're probably going to say go far too. <laughs> <laughs>